Hello everyone. If you are a local business and have not positioned yourself on Google My Business yet, then these three things are most important to address when you get your business out there on Google. Number one, get your business correctly verified. Google has introduced a system of verifying your business address and phone number as, as a part of a cleanup mission that they have started. Because in the past, there have been a lot of cases where bogus or fraudulent business have been set up on phone numbers, email addresses, and uh, it's really kind of uh, given Google such a bad name because of uh, wrong businesses being shown up, and then customers are complaining that. They are not able to reach the right place or they are or they're in the wrong place. Therefore, this verification of an address and phone number is extremely crucial and, and make sure you have your address and phone number very correctly put up. And then using the uh, verification uh, process, get your uh, business verified immediately. In fact, we have a video created specifically for this. So do check our YouTube channel uh, and get your business verified right away. Have multiple locations? No worries. You can add up to 18 locations in one uh, Google, business my, Google My Business account. So go ahead and add all those addresses. Make sure they are verified and they are absolutely correct. Why? Because once they are verified, it will be attached with your business and most importantly once they are published on Google customers are going to use them to reach your place so make sure they are as accurate and as correct as possible so that customers can reach your place number two complete the profile Google has created a lot of sections for you to fill out as much information about your business as possible not just to assist the customer, but also help their backend to really map your business to um, people when they search so that the relevancy is very, very high. For example, there are filters like women only business or assistance for disabled people. Isn't it fantastic? It's, it's a real indicator for the customer. They know what to expect when they walk into your store. So make sure you have all those more details filled up. Don't leave anything blank. Put in your working hours, put in your services. Make sure you have your keywords in place when you're putting the description. Very powerful. Fill up everything. Number three, connect visually. Google My Business has the section where you can add photos, you can add your products, you can add your services. Make sure you really upload uh, photographs of your store to give the users connect and they know what to expect when they reach your store. Give them an idea of your products and services. Most importantly, fill in as much information again as much as possible because you want to map it, this search as well. You want Google to really map your services when people are searching for you or searching for your products or services. Another important aspect is when customers come in, make sure they give you reviews. Now Google is geo-targeting reviews. This is another of their filters to ensure correct reviews are given and not bogus ones. Which means that when you give a review via mobile, using the GPS, they can really map whether you are actually at the store and not at another place or you are paid to get a review. So using this geo-mapping, they can really establish which reviews are genuine and which are not. Isn't that fantastic? So make sure you encourage all your visitors and customers to give your feedback when they visit your store. So these are my three suggestions to get your Google My uh, Business page really active and ready for search.
when customers are looking for your services. I hope uh, this video was uh, helpful. If you have any questions or queries, please write to us on the email shown on your screen. Do not forget to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and also like us on Facebook. And keep seeing uh, a lot of new videos that we will be creating along the way. Until then, bye-bye.